Hello, and today I'm here reviewing Spellbound, a Hex Hall novel by Rachel Hawkins. I had so many feelings when it came to this book. First off, the cat is again on the cover. What is with that cat? And in my other two videos about the other two books, I have said, why is there a cat? She is allergic. So anyway, basically in this book, it is a lot about Sophie and her losing, well, her powers being trapped down. And it was just, oof, it was a roller coaster ride. It was so adventurous and there was so much action in this book that it really went quickly and at the same time when these love triangles happen and there was one in this series usually I don't take a side or I side with the main character in this one I didn't I really fell in love with Cal I mean, a hot guy with uh, garden shears and a green thumb and who can hear, heal your every injury. Yeah, that's kind of intense. But she didn't, well, she didn't really have a choice. But the way this book ended, I cried and I cried and I cried. This is a book that seriously will make you stay up all night. And then when you're done reading it, you will be emotionally exhausted. Not physically, not from staying up all night. You will be emotionally exhausted. Because that's how draining this book is. And to me, that's a great thing. Because I love it when you can get so involved with the characters that you feel emotions while you're reading. You cry, you laugh, you whatever. This one, it just ripped my heart out. I did not know how to do it. It just, it killed me. It did. It bugged me so bad, the ending of this book. And, but I did love that Sophie's mom and dad kind of reconnected. And I think that that's why her dad kind of lost his powers in the last book. Was so that, and then you find out, oh god, there were shocks. There, there are shockers all through this book. Like, you think you know stuff about Sophie, and then Boom. No, th this isn't true. Boom. This isn't true. And it is absolutely kooky. I mean, it just, there are twists and turns and emotions running high. I mean, it is just absolutely exhausting. So, I give this book four out of five stars, which means I really liked it, but I didn't love it. And I couldn't love it because of what happened. And because of the cover. But other than that, it was really, really good. And I'm actually really looking forward to buying the companion or side novel or whatever it's called. School Spirits. I'm really excited for that. And I'm also thinking about reading some more Rachel Hawkins work because I like this series so much. So like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what your favorite books of January were or what books you bought in January.